Today I'm going to look at speed optimization for WordPress websites. Now there are some caching plugins available for WordPress, uh, one of which is the W3 Total Cache, which is a very good plugin and uh, fairly simple to use. But I'm going to show you an alternative method if you find you're having trouble with the W3 Total Cache. Basically, I'm just going to minify a few things and a few little scripts to add to your HT access and your functions.php of your theme can give you a fairly good boost uh, with your, your page speed. So the website I'm working on is uh, called Rocks on Mars. There's an extension you can use for Google Chrome called uh, YSlow. You can download it, just, just Google YSlow and you'll find it. You can install it for Chrome. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, plugin to have if you're just quickly optimizing a, a website. So basically all you have to do is run the test and you'll see what uh, we'll see what our starting point is for this website. Uh, y slow here gives me a D, so a 69%. And what's nice about it is it tells you what you need to do. Like use a content delivery network. That's that's something you can do, which is a paid option. But there's some other ones here we can use ahead of that, like expired headers, compressing with gzip, uh, minifying your JavaScript and CSS, uh, etc. So just through minifying, you can bring these HTTP requests down. You want them below 24 if possible. And we can also uh, reduce the size of the website in terms of uh, kilobytes or megabytes. This is important for uh, mobile browsers. You want it as uh, small as possible for, for data plans. So like I said, uh, I've already installed uh, better WordPress Minify on my, my website. Uh, I'm not going to start with that though. I'm going to uh, come back and show you some HT access rules that uh, Basically, it's boilerplate rules that you can use to, to uh, speed up uh, WordPress. So you, you are going to want to log into your cPanel of your account and go to your file manager. Now, if it's not enabled, actually, before we go to the file manager, there's something called gzip that we could see that's not enabled. We can enable that in our account uh, on a lot of servers if it's not enabled under uh, software and services optimized website. Right now it's it's disabled. If we just compress all content and update the settings, that's going to uh, help with the G, the gzip uh, that we're going to be adding. So go back to home. So now we'll go to file manager, go, and we're going to look at the uh, HT access. Uh, I have iTheme security on here right now, so basically here's the, the WordPress rules. And the code I'm going to be adding to this is, is basically a boilerplate uh, code. Uh, we're going to be unsetting the e-tags, uh, adding expired headers, adding some cache control to the headers, enabling uh, Z -Z zip, which we just did, and we're gonna do some compression, deflate compression, as well as the Better WordPress Minify has its own rules to, to make sure that you wanna add these rules as well. Uh, once we have Better WordPress Minify activated, we can, we can add these rules and I'll show you what that does. So let's start with these first. I'm just going to copy them and paste them. Now you can find these rules at wpdigs.com. There's uh, different posts on, on and different coding things to speed up your website. This one is, here it is, speed up WordPress through HT access. And there's the, uh, the code that you want there. You can grab it from there. 
I'll leave a link in the description. So back to here, we'll just save that. Immediately come back to your website and see if you haven't done something bad. So it's still working. Uh, the next thing I want to do is add some rules to the WordPress theme that we're using. So we're going to go to the themes functions PHP and add a bit of code there. I may have already added it. Here, just close that. But just to double check under themes. Now, which one is it? I believe it's Parallax Pro Functions Code Editor. Yes, okay. So there's this bit of code that I like to add as well. It removes a bit of the junk in the, the head of the uh, WordPress website. Most specifically, it's the, uh, the generators telling everybody which version of WordPress you're using. It's especially useful if you tend to not update regularly because uh, older versions of WordPress will be easier to find by robots if you have the, the link of which version you're using in, um, in the head there. So we can just save that. Go back to our website, make sure it's running okay. And just to re remind you that uh, we're starting off with like a 71 or a 72 or according to this one, it's a, uh, a 69. So just with those couple little changes there, uh, we can see where we're getting to. Let's rerun this. Okay, so we went from a 69 here to a 76. And we're down to 27 and uh, 549. Now, there's a couple more things to do here. Uh, let's go ahead and enable our plugin, our better WordPress Minify, Minify plugin. Activate. And if we go to the general options in that plugin, we have the JavaScript and the CSS automatically minified. We're going to be using the advanced options as well. You're going to want to enable uh, friendly minify URLs. That's the one thing you're going to check. And when you check that or uncheck that, this this will this link pops up. So if it's checked, you'll have this show re rewrite rules for Apache that you're going to want to add as well. Uh, which are those rewrite rules I showed you earlier? Anyway, we're going to save the changes. And I'll show you what those rewrite rules do. So if we come back here, we run a test. Our grade is a B now. So there are some Fs in here at expired headers. For instance, we have uh, external fonts, which we can't really control, but we can control this Minify. This is the better WordPress Minify uh, plugin, creating these ones that don't have expired headers. So that's what that little bit of code is going to do, is going to help us create the expired headers on the uh, better WordPress Minify uh, files here. And we're going to compress the components with gzip. Let's see. Uh, we'll take a look into that, but that should be a lot higher than that. that just double check that we've used it, it, turned it on here, first of all. Web, optimize website, yes. Okay. So let's go back to the HT access, first of all, and add that little bit of code here for the minify rules. Basically W3T cache adds all this. This is what it actually does. It adds this to your HT access to, to help out. So 
instead of installing that large plugin just to add some boilerplate uh, code to your HT access, you can you can do it yourself. This is what I'm basically what I'm showing you. So we'll save that. And check out our score here. Okay, so increased by one. Uh, still not compressing fully with the gzip, so I'm going to see what's going on here. Maybe we need to just refresh our, clear our browser. There we go. So that's an A now. So we've gone up to 88% uh, in a grade a, a B. There's a couple little things here. Add expired headers. There's not much we can do for those ex those external uh, fonts. We can try to bring them in and uh, use them locally, but we're not going to uh, do that because basically this took 15 minutes. And I think uh, 88's a Pretty big improvement from 69 as is. So if we go over to uh, GT Metrics, I've logged in over here and we analyze the uh, URL just to see what they have to say. Because I believe, here we go, uh, 16 minutes ago, it was a 71 and a 72 and the page load was 2.1 seconds. So we'll see what they have to say about that now. Okay, so we're still at 2.1 seconds for page load re uh, time, but the requests are 16 and the page size has, has been halved. Uh, page speed score is an A and the Y slow, which we had before, is, is a B. So basically I'm not going to touch this anymore. That That's, that's fast enough for uh, our needs. And if we go about to the about page, things seem a little bit faster loading. Much faster, actually, than before. I could count to two before. Now I count count to one, and it's 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 loaded. So, uh, basically, that's how to double the speed of your website uh, within about fifteen minutes. Hope you found this uh, helpful. I'll make any links to the uh, WP digs here. You can look through some ways to speed up your your website here, and other little things uh, that are going to help you along the way, maybe. Thanks very much for watching and have a great day.